Good morning, Capricornians. So, Capricorn, what is Capricorn? <clears throat> I call it the structural earth, the one which wants to feel and structuralize everything earthly. Means it wants to make it practical. This is the earth sign. It's the last of the earth signs, I think. Yes. So, Capricorn wants to ground everything. Let's go with this, start with the esoteric meaning. Spiritual initiation and the will to achieve on behalf of soul's purpose. It's a very grand initiator of earthly things. Keynote for the soul, lost am I in the light supernal and yet on that light I turn my back. Meaning what? Meaning you are focused on the divine part of you but yet you turn your back and come towards the earth. And yet on that light I turn my back. Means you want to come back to the earth and bring that. Soul ray will be three of them. First, third and seventh. Will to achieve. Will to manipulate and adapt. Which gives them business acumen. Seventh, which will be will to build and express. Practical mystic. Which gives them organizational skill. So mantra, first one, I assert the fact. Third, purpose itself am I. Seventh, the highest and the lowest me. So these are three grand purposes. The more purpose involved with the soul, the more grand it becomes. Soul colors being first red, third forest green, and seventh ray violet. Let's go to the Vedic aspects. The Vedic aspects gives the... Um, energy of what the sign is about. Capricorn, Lord is Saturn. Now these two, Capricorn and Aquarius are Saturn signs. Now what's the energy of Saturn? It's an airy planet, dry, cold. It doesn't have any substance as such. It's a very gaseous planet. So it looks to ground everything. It is looking for ground. That's why Capricorn tends, Saturn planets, Saturn tends to exaggerate or make everything material qualities, tamas, movable female. So it's a very powerful movement of the female to ground things. Sign Lord therefore is Saturn, wants to ground. Exaltation is Mars because it gives the drive to do it. Devilitation is Jupiter because knowledge is not helpful to ground stuff. Knowledge, dharma becomes another energy. This type is artha, means it is more of means, means to accomplish things in the world, the materialistic world. Let's see where, where we come across with this chart. So, the tenth house, now you are stuck in the head. So, you have stuck Saturn in the head. Saturn with Aquarius comes in the second house. With uh, Pisces in the third house. Aries in the fourth house and so on. So, what does this bring about? The Capricorn ascendance, because it's in the self and personality in the head, these people are very controlled and calculative, seeking rank and position and status. They are very ambitious, very materialistic, although they have low self-esteem inside. So they seek external to validate their internal world. Fluctuating ego sense, they feel empty inside. Why? Saturn is a dry planet, airy and dry, looking confident outside and insecure inside. This is a classic sign of a cap. They don't believe in luck. They're, they were self-made people, completing all tasks, very task-oriented, hard-working people, quiet and clever, always looking for opportunities, very sure-footed and come across as arrogant to other people. Saturnian's arrogance is a different kind of arrogance. It's a silent one. Number two, family has Saturn Aquarius. The Aquarius is a little different energy. Again belongs to Saturn, which is family, wealth, elder, sibling, speech. The family of disciplined, unorthodox intellectuals. They will have a family which is unorthodox intellectual, scientific and logical. Eloquent, cautious and sparse in speech. Frugal with money. Miserly from an early age. These people are very miserly from an early age. Why? Because Saturn is in the ascendant as well. Reserved. Again, gives, comes from Saturn, but there is a streak of unorthodoxy because Aquarius is Saturn with Rahu in it. We'll come across in the next sign. In skill set, it gets them mature at a very early age. They learn to develop skills with people. They become street smart. Elder siblings may be very strict and pessimistic, disciplined, practical, ambitious type. 
for these people if they have an elder sibling. In number three position we have Pisces, the house of communication skill sets and younger siblings. So they become very traditional approach to dealing with younger siblings, younger brothers and sisters or friends. Very philosophical approach Pisces gives that. Very broad minded too, very dreamy. They think everybody is uh, out to support them, very dreamy and idealistic. Can develop very good communication written skills. Jupiter gives that aspect with little effort. They can get good at communication. Practical in developing skills, what will give them gain, fame, reputation, etc. Good education in early years, but very dreamy. Pisces gives very dreamy, ungroundedness in early life. Because it's in the third house. Fourth house has Mars in the house. It becomes very aggressive. We don't need Mars in the house of home. Can't bring a soldier home. So, home and mother dominate in an aggressive, very business-like mother. Home becomes a very strict, aggressive environment. Confrontational, lots of fights. Warrior mentality and energy going into home. Will put efforts at home front, but they have an aggressive atmosphere at home. The drive to have big house, big cars, property. Mars is the Karaka of all of this. In the fifth, we have Venus, but through Taurus. So it will be fixed sign in the house of education, children, romance, and love. So these people become very early creative and have artistic kids. Taurus gives them artistic kids. Fixed and grounded way to creativity. They have fixed approach to creativity. This is what you do, this is what you don't do. Bringing up kids, wanting to teach them about money, finances, importance of wealth, giving practical knowledge of this, what's important to them as parents. Very early sensuality in romance and love. They require very physical kind of love. They're not looking for very emotional kind of love. In the sixth, in the house of enemies, of daily work, we had Gemini. So these people become good at speech. Again, the number three also we saw good at speech. Communicative ability developed early in life to work, to resolve conflicts through communication skills. They make excellent litigation lawyers because of this. They have to fight in courtrooms. Ability to win any argument. Mercury gives them that. Handling of enemies and changing approaches because Gemini, these enemies of theirs in life will keep changing all the time. Changeable sign. In the seventh house, they have moon in Cancer in a house of spouse marriage. So they might be having a mothering kind of spouse and a need for emotional nurturing, which they missed in their childhood. They're looking for that to be fulfilled to the partner. Nurturing and caring. So this is more to do with they're looking for a spouse, mother figure in their spouse, and they will get one. Their spouse is usually mothering and taking care of them. Not a very mature relationship, but yeah, it's and it will be fluctuating. So they might have changing partners. Moon in uh, seventh house makes them prone to divorces because this is a changeable partnership. If they don't get this proper one, they'll change their partner. So, number eight, sun in Leo. In the occult and hidden, we have a sun shining. What does this mean? Assets, wealth and health can fluctuate throughout life, contributing to self-esteem issues. Sun is self-esteem. Sense of self always hidden. See, if you put sun, which is a bright shining star in the sky, into the hidden area of life, it becomes hidden. So that's why even in the ascendant, you saw they are always looking for who they are, searching for identity, identity crisis. Sun being hidden. Mercury in through Virgo. Now this gives them a very calculated approach to learning. Calculated and calculative learning of higher wisdom because this is the house of higher wisdom which will bring them rank and fame. They want to translate, remember the ascendant, they want to translate everything to rank and fame. They will not learn anything which will not give them fame. Higher knowledge takes on a meaning which is mathematical in nature, use of a lot of discernment in matters of religion and philosophy. They take what makes sense, they discard the rest. Even their higher education will be like this, very calculated. In the house of career, in Venus through Libra, they are very diplomatic in their career. Very creative, very liberal at work, excellent team players, 
doing all for gains again the saturnian picture comes into they want gains and uh, fame in their career speculative business they are good at speculative business stock markets balanced career where fame and gains are real and make sense to them they want to ground everything in the 11th house of gains and social networks we have scorpio so that becomes hidden master scorpio secretive about their social network they don't never know who their secret friends are most of these friends are very secretive good friends they will never tell you who their best friends are secretive about their ambitions social networks through ambitions keep changing their targets all the time because this is the 8th house originally so they keep changing their targets aggressive drive to dominate friend circle they want to be the center of attention in the social circles but that's secretive again so in the 12th house we have jupiter through sag in the house of spirituality foreign travels etc so they are very traditional in spiritual matters sag being very traditional intimate relationships with spouse assume a spiritual need they don't tend to spiritualize their their intimacy and sex life with their partner everything has a philosophical meaning loses money by giving donation to spiritual causes jupiter is very highly giving so they in this house they tend to lose money spending excessive money on their kids because jupiter in sag is again through kids and education spirituality is more like learning higher knowledge making practical use of them because they want to again ground this this house is not groundable but they are trying to ground it through good intuition they have very good intuition they should use this for more optimistic side of life rather than trying to ground it or spending excessively so guys this is my analysis of sag themes or oh, sorry capricorn themes in a general way if you need more consultation on where your planets are in this diamond chart get in touch with me on facebook take care